Well, now we're all curious, John. Let's take a look at that radar. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting a little busy. No storms, but a little rain heading into some of our valley cities. Not raining in our backyard just yet, but clouds may be looking a little bit more ominous. We'll get to the radar, but I want to start you with this photo of a hummingbird in flight. My wife actually took this at uh, her mom's house. And a great shot it is. You can see a uh, hummingbird getting ready to maybe do a little feed there. Good stuff, good snap. Thanks for sending it in, babe. Now, this is what it looks like in the Electric City. You can see the clouds, and as you look out towards some of the mountains there behind the, uh, or beyond the Times Tower, you can see some rain falling under some of those clouds. So this is what's moving in, 72 degrees, and it's actually a little bit on the stickier side now, with that dew point sitting there at 65. Temperatures, lots of 70s, although we do have some 60s up in the mountains. Look at Dushore sitting at 65. Double sixes in Lopez, some 70s for a good chunk of central Pennsylvania. As promised, here's that radar. And here's that shower that's starting to head down into uh, the Wyoming Valley. Looks like portions of the Lackawanna Valley going to get clipped by this thing, too. Again, we're not seeing any lightning out of this, so no storms. But looks like there will be some raindrops. Maybe there's a little glimmer of hope there. This thing may have rained itself out over Harvey's Lake into the back mountain. So maybe not as much activity there in Wilkesbury. But again, for our backyard, it looks like I might be about to get wet here. Let's see if I can wrap up this forecast before getting soaked. So this is the system that's moved through today. Remember, last night, 10 and 11, we were saying, OK, not looking like a big deal. But earlier newscasts, including my seven, we thought this was going to be a real soaker, but not to be. So we kind of lucked out there. But over my other shoulder is our next weather maker. So we're going to be in the space in between tomorrow. But this system that's diving into the upper Midwest, that'll be here on Saturday. That'll give us the chance for some more storms. So clouds will slowly clear out tonight. We'll be about 60 degrees or so for your overnight low. Tomorrow looks great. Looks like we'll have a good amount of sunshine developing by the afternoon. Warmer tomorrow too. Again, only in the low to mid 70s for highs today. Tomorrow we should be able to get up to about 80 degrees or so for the afternoon high. For the weekend, going to start off on a bit of a wetter note. Not in the morning, but Saturday afternoon looks like there will be the chance for some storms. Temperatures in the mid 80s. Sunday right now would be my pick of the weekend. Looks like very minimal, if any, chance for storms. Highs that day also expected to be in the mid 80s. So let's, let's show you the timeline for what you can expect Saturday. Again, waking up, I don't expect anything at all. We were looking good if you've got some, something going on in the morning. But watch what happens in the afternoon. Systems start to approach here from the west, and uh, that will start to trigger some showers, some thunderstorms out ahead of it. And some of those could be into some of our valley cities, maybe around 6 o'clock or so, if this particular model rings true. So it looks like a bit of a busier time later in the day on Saturday. Morning, early afternoon, okay. Late afternoon, that's when things may get a little bit busy. And already getting highlighted, never another level 1 out of 5 risk for severe weather, and that includes all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Looks like a afternoon, early evening deal there. Some gusty winds, perhaps, with some of the strongest storms. Looking into next week, uh, looks like chances for some showers, maybe returning later in the day Monday, but maybe in the middle of the week, kind of catching a little break here. And, of course, we could use a nice chance for a break, get the lawn cut. This weekend looks like your best chance to do that would be Sunday or Saturday morning. I think tomorrow actually looks pretty good. And then for the Grand Slam Parade, Keeping our fingers crossed again, so there will be some showers and storms around in the afternoon. Hopefully they dodge around where the uh, big parade coverage will be there. Live coverage starts at 6, although we'll have some kind of updates and things throughout our newscast starting at noon. That's a look at the next seven days. Mix of sun and clouds expected tomorrow. Good way to get into the weekend. Some storms popping up by Saturday afternoon. Some of those on the feistier side. Nice end to the weekend some showers and storms to dodge early next week. So for the, you know, thousands that will be there in attendance and of course for you too, Scott, we'll hope that the showers and storms kind of dodge their way around the parade route there for you on Monday. That is what we are hoping. Yeah, fingers crossed, buddy. Thank you, John.